So this one, I'm not sure if you guys can read it, but we're gonna break down in so many terms um, the commercial versus non-commercial. So again, the commercial side is restaurants, fast food establishment, bars, travel, leisure, vending machines, that, that's the main piece for commercial, right? This grocery stores, where, again, restaurants, those are the, the things when we say commercial, that's what we mean. Convenience and familiar, familiarity is the key in this, right? So the major segments within commercial are quick service restaurants, full service restaurants, catering, and drinking establishments. QSRs, which is what you're going to hear me say, are formerly known as fast food restaurants and make up 35.4% of total food sales in the US. Again, remember, food is big business, right? So example of QSRs are like Subway, McDonald's, Chipotle. Surprisingly, Chipotle actually considers himself a fast casual, and we'll get into what that means. But uh, consumers, we view it as fast food, right? I don't know if you guys agree, drop that in the chat. Do you guys think it's Chipotle fast food or is a, a fast casual? So those are some of the things, right? So QSR is focused primarily on drive-through locations, standalone locations, locations within retail stores, kiosks, just high traffic again, right? Very big if you look at um, economics, land. We're all about land. So we're that's why you see locations is a, such a big focus. Um, again, then we're going to go into full service restaurants. So that's defined as a sit-down eatery where food is served directly to the consumer, right? And that's why a lot of us are here, right? The primary way that we generate revenue was dine-in, and now we're in this new area where we're trying to figure out how do we sort all that out. So full-service restaurants have 35% of the market share, and they're the most fluid of the F&B operation, right? So adjusting and changing the demands of the marketplace is typically harder. Customer expectations here are much higher than QSRs. So your consumers expect way more from full service restaurants than they do from someone like a Chipotle or a Subway. That's key to know, right? So the menus offers that the menus that we offer at full service restaurants they vary, right? So it, and it's based on your as the business owner your desire, your experience, um, and they can break down to different categories such as fine dining, family casual, ethnic, upscale casual. So again, that is when we say commercial, that is what they mean in food supply chain as commercial. Then we go to the non-commercial side of it, and that's primarily large-scale institutional settings such as public and private schools, prisons, the U.S. military, hospitals, and again, I just gave a breakdown, universities, colleges, so cruise ships, right? These are the things when they mean when they say non-commercial. So um, again, the scale of these sites can range from small, family-owned, that feed a few dozen people per hour to large hospitality venues, such as stadiums, um, casinos, cruise ships um, that feed thousands of people per hour. Again, it's important to know where you fall, right? What's your category? How do they classify you? Again, Chipotle calls itself fast casual, but we call it fast food. So where do I fall? And again, this is just the breakdown of what that looks like, right? So just understanding. So like when you see a hotel and motel now, you'll be like, oh, okay, that's non-commercial. Like just understanding, again, you can speak to it. Um, and you know, just articulate yourself and knowing what landscape you're in.